Hello and welcome to this video where I'm bringing you along on my first outing with my brand new Cumulus Quilt 250. I did release a video where I gave my initial overview of the quilt when it was delivered to my house, so click on the link up here if you want to see that. But for now, I'll give you a quick look inside the tent to show you the quilt set up, and I'll show you a couple of features I picked up on since I released that first video. So here is the quilt set up inside my tent. As I said, it's the Cumulus Quilt 250 in its standard specification in this sort of khaki green, which I actually quite like. It's a really thin feeling material, so I know I'll need to be careful with it, but that's why it's so light. This only weighs 490 grams. So for tonight, I don't think I'm going to want to wrap up too warm, but what I will do is I'll show you the straps on the back of the quilt. And someone kindly commented on my initial video to say that I demonstrated this all wrong. So what I showed was the strap wrapped all the way around the back of the sleeping pad and then fastened on the opposite side. But what I've been told now is that you should actually thread the sleep mat through the straps. So you're actually going to pass these straps all the way around the mat, which I'll show you in a sec. And then all you do is secure this clip on the other side of the, the quilt and then it's just held down to the mat more neatly. So what we're saying is you actually open the strap up and pass that around your sleeping pad. And then the same goes for the second strap as well. These straps are adjustable, so if you have a, a wider or a thinner mat, you can adjust them up to suit. So you now have the two straps slid down the mat. And then what you can do is you can take the clip on the other side of the quilt and just click that in. Same goes for the second clip. So now the quilt is actually fastened to the sleep pad, but you can get in and out of the quilt okay. And you can see that the sides of the quilt are fastened really quite securely to the side of the mat. So it's just gonna hold the heat in that bit better. And this definitely works far better than the method I tried to demonstrate in my initial video when I didn't understand how the quilt worked. And then two corresponding clips on the far side. That's one clipped up. Now I'll clip the other in now. So that setup works really well and I like the way that looks on the pad. If the temperatures are going to be dropping in the night, that's definitely what you'd want to do to try and keep all that warmth held into the quilt. But what you can do if the temperatures warm up is you can unclip that clip, but also the clip on this side is detachable. So you can just undo that one as well. And now you've completely detached the quilt from the mat as soon as you do the same with this pair of clips. And then if you want to walk away and use the quilt around your shoulders to keep warm in the evening, you can do so. And then when you return to your sleep pad, you can just clip it back on and you've got yourself an almost sleeping bag set up once again. And that's good for two reasons really. It means that your quilt is detachable and you don't have to slide these straps on and off. And of course you could just leave these straps on your sleeping pad the whole time, even when you pack it away maybe if you're careful. But the other good thing about that is that you don't have to have these great big elasticated straps fastened to your quilt all the time. So if you just want to use the quilt loosely in your tent, you can just throw it on, throw it off, and you haven't got that strap flailing around with a plastic clip on the end. So Cumulus have really thought this through and I like the way that works. So just to show you what I mean, if I now disconnect the lower clips as well, I can remove the quilt and walk off and use it as a quilt. And then when it's bedtime, just do your clips up again. Of course, the straps are going to be in exactly the right place because you've already set them up. Clip in on both sides and you're away again. So I'm going to put everything back in the tent now and we'll see how it works later on. Thank you. 
As you can see, it is now a beautiful morning on the southwest coast in the UK, and I spent the night under my Cumulus Quilt 250, and I'd say it's done really well. It is much more comfortable than a sleeping bag, I have to say. This is my first night sleeping with a quilt when I'm out camping. Um, and I'm really glad that somebody commented on my initial video to tell me that I hadn't been installing these straps properly when I passed them all the way under the mat. I have to say the quilt's worked really well for me. It is really comfortable and spacious compared to a sleeping bag and I find that this clip system is really useful so if ever I want to get up I can just unclip both sets of clips, get out of the quilt, get back into bed and then clip them up again afterwards. It's that easy. So it's really simple to use. It makes getting in and out of bed really easy. Much easier than getting in and out of a sleeping bag as well. Temperatures weren't set to drop below 15 degrees Celsius in the night. There were some fairly strong winds shortly after I got into bed. And because this tent is only a three season tent, the wind can really get under the fly sheet. And it's also just a single skin tent. It's a Nature Hike Vic one. So when the wind comes under, it comes straight in through the tent. Um, but all I did was I clipped up the, the neck clips behind my head. I pulled in the drawstrings and that cinched the quilt in nice and tight around my neck. It really held the warmth in and I just went straight to sleep and I, I slept really solidly. I also used the quilt as a blanket while I was sitting out eating my food in the night, which was really good. And I'm just about to go and have breakfast sitting out in the sun on my sleep mat as well. So it's really just functioned as a really versatile piece of kit and I, I really enjoy it. The foot box I've had zipped up and then cinched up at the bottom all night as well. But even when you're using it like that, there's still loads of room for your legs to move around in. It did feel like I was getting close to the limit in terms of temperature and comfort in the night, but that was with that really strong wind, which was only for about a quarter of an hour or so. But for the rest of the time, it's, it's actually been warm enough. It does feel very thin when it's on you, but even so, it's, it's effective enough at these temperatures. I wouldn't want to go below 10 degrees with it, I don't think, and I actually neglected to bring any really warm clothing. So I've got one thermal base layer on um, and thermal leggings as well. But um, I did intend to bring a down jacket or a, a hoodie or fleece or something, but I didn't. Nevertheless, I have been warm enough and I'm, I'm really happy with the, the way this has dealt with the temperatures in the night. So that brings me to the end of my initial review really. This is my very first use of the quilt. I will be using it more throughout the summer so I'll perhaps give an update at some point. But um, yeah, I would recommend this. I really like the way it works. If I were to order another one, I might go for the 350 instead of the 250. There's a very small weight gain there of course. But um, it would just maybe protect you down to slightly cooler temperatures than this one. And because it's so versatile, you can just open up the sides if you find that you're too warm in the 350. So that's probably, I mean, I, I'm on the fence with that one. I really like that this is so very light. 490 grams is nothing. The 350 would be that little bit heavier. It's a really personal choice. So whether you want to go one way and go for the really lightweight and tiny pack size, or go the other way, gain a little bit of weight and pack size, but have that slightly broader range of temperatures you can use it in. I hope this review has been useful to you. Please feel free to drop any comments or questions down below and I'll get back to you if I can help out. Thanks for watching.